Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets have had a very modest bounce this morning, but it doesn't feel anything more than a dead cat bounce right now, unless US earnings season begins to tick up and begin to get a better macroeconomic picture. Um, but the um, US 30 trading just below potential um, resistance at 16.41. We're still at eyeing 16.178 should the bad news continue. Uh, if we break and close above 16.41, then we might be looking at 16. Five nine eight, but certainly uh, today is very important to get a bit of a flavour of where we're going to go next. So, looking at the UK 100, similar picture. We managed to get a, a rebound right up to potential resistance 63.90, a failure to break on through. Uh, the UK market has not yet opened in the time of this recording, um, but we are looking at 62.16 should things continue to uh, to go negatively. However, the technicals are slightly over uh, oversold, and we have been given some signals now to um, to you know, think about a reversal. Uh, we might have actually already already had that, but if we do move from the 63.90, we are going to be targeting 64.63 as the next potential resistance. So moving on to Japan 225 and having a look at dollar yen, dollar yen's uh, reversing course going back up again. Um, so we are seeing uh, kind of a, a small reversal. So basically, risk is back on today. Equities up, gold down, dollar back in vogue, yen. Not so much, uh, and that's helping to push the uh, Japanese to do five above potential support 49.77, iron up 15.488. But we're a good bit away from there right now. Um, technicals are uh, well, the uh, slow stochastic here is just bang on the level. We did almost have a crossover in the RSI, so maybe it's a little bit of a due uh, move higher. Uh, but I don't think the fundamentals have really changed that much. Again, keep your eye on um, the U.S. earnings seasons. Some banks have already reported. Some pharma companies come out with some bad, uh, bad data. We'll see if things continue throughout the session. So, at Japan 25 is pretty much just above the level. 107 is about 36. Now, uh, it'll be interesting to see if we continue to get that move to, to the upside, but we were on the wrong side of this uh, until just a few minutes ago. So 107 spot 36, we need to see if Dol Yen can keep um, keep pushing on above this so then we can start to get a bit of momentum behind it. Otherwise, uh, if the pressure continues and we close below this level, that will just confirm the, exi the existence of the potential resistance level. So looking at crude oil, uh, West Texas, um, we are getting quite close to that $80 mark right now. So comfortably trading below potential uh, supports are at $84. Um, the next potential support is actually all the way down to 77 spot 40, but it's a psychological $80 level, and it's a level that these, the Saudis and OPEC have said that they're willing to accept um, in order to keep interest rates down that little bit lower. Um, so that's a very interesting move that we've seen here. So obviously crude oil West Texas are taking the bath the last um, a couple of months, don't think the pressure completely out there yet. A couple of dollars to go yet. So looking at gold, uh, gold can reverse course after having a rally for the last couple of sessions. And that is as dollar strength um, comes back and we have a rebound in the equity markets. Um, be uh, you know, obviously if the sell off and the equities continue, gold should be supported. Um, however, if US earnings does not disappoint and we get some decent figures coming out of that region, uh, gold will um, feel the pain a little bit more. So moving on to euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar doesn't really know what it wants to do right now. Obviously, we have seen a bit of a late surge in the US dollar, uh, which is uh, pressuring your dollar. We're currently below potential uh, su uh, support, one spot 2661. Um, if that continues, we could be looking at 125 as the next potential level. So, finishing up with GBP USD, I had a pretty bad day yesterday. We are now floating around one spot. 59.17, that was in the back of not fantastic UK data, um, and we are right up one spot 57.42 now. Um, we're still banging about this level, this looks to be the pivot, one spot 59.17 is the strategic level to be aware of, depending on your view on sterling dollar, either higher or lower, this will be the level that many people will be looking at. So looking at data wise, um, we've already had Chinese data come in pretty much as expected. Um, we do have some jobless claims data today at 9.30. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to make sure I've got my reoccurring alert set there. You guys at home should do that as well. And um, then we've got uh, PPI and retail sales from the US. So euro dollar and cable uh, will be keenly watched when these figures come out. Uh, I should, in fact, make sure I've got my reoccurring alert set on this as well. Don't want to miss out on any of those alerts. So that will automatically, I'm basically setting myself up for a whole month's worth of uh, 
of alerting. And then if we fast forward on the Thursday, we do have jobless claims and uh, the Philly Fed Index and crude oil inventories. So it's all to play for today. I should also point out today we've also got the API crude data, uh, which is due at the end of the day. So um, if you are a crude trader, and a lot of people are looking crude right now, there's a fair amount of information out today and tomorrow. Yeah. Make sure you make the chart forum part of your leg going forward. Make insights part of your screen. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.